My name is Patrick Milligan. I'm a PhD student in the Palmer Lab at the University of Florida, and I work here at Impala Research Center studying plant physiology. Lycipia and especially Impala are great places to do research because there's a strong connection and cooperation between local landowners here, ranchers, conservationists, and scientists. As we look around this, this area of the savanna, you would notice that there's really only one tree species that dominates out here. About 95% of the trees are a single species. The reason why I study this tree species in particular is that we consider it to be a, a part of the foundation of the environment here. It provides um, nesting habitat for birds. It's an important food for black rhinoceros and giraffes. Um, it's, a, it's an important part of the soil and uh, the nutrients that are cycling through the soil. And I study how parts of their physiology, like um, their water stress levels, how their leaves are producing sugars, um, how those different parts of their physiology change when the environment is invaded by a new ant species. A typical day out here can include a few different uh, methods. We will um, we'll come out into the savanna and we'll manipulate small characteristics of these trees. And if you look closely at any of these tree canopies around me, you'll notice that there are ants that live inside of these nodules that form in the canopy. And they eat nectar and they receive shelter from the tree. And in return, they provide defense for that tree. So we actually kind of manipulate that relationship. So for instance, for the last few weeks, I've been coming out to this area and removing nectar sources from the trees. And um, which basically means that the ants that live on these trees no longer can rely on the tree for food. They have to find it in the surrounding environment. So when we change that part of the relationship, the tree is suddenly under less stress from the ants that live inside of its canopy, and we're measuring how their drought tolerance changes after we remove that part of the relationship. There are tons of, of issues uh, with working out here and trying to do field work in this environment. The ground that I'm standing on is really, the soil here is great at sucking up water and turning into this cake battery mixture that's almost impossible to drive through. It gets stuck to your shoes. Um, it feels like your steps weigh an extra 20 pounds because of all this dirt that's stuck to your feet. So just getting to our field site can be difficult. Sometimes our, our trucks get stuck in the mud and then we have to get towed out. But um, also like vigilance is really important out here and keeping an eye out for wildlife. Um, there have been a handful of times where um, I'm looking through this savanna trying to find some GPS tagged tree and I'll come across a buffalo who just rises out of the grass and is pretty angry that I'm intruding on its territory. But it's all worth it in the end of every field season. Um, we've seen really interesting differences in drought tolerance and in drought stress in these trees um, depending on how they're interacting with their resident ant colonies. And we've also seen major differences in areas that have been invaded by a new ant species called the big-headed ants. The science itself is rewarding in my mind. Um, I want to keep working out here after this project is done, focusing on the, um, the human-induced factors that are changing this environment. I want to keep uh, sort of informing conservationists on how we can expect this environment to change, how we can protect certain parts of it to try to preserve the diversity of life here. I think it's this great living laboratory.